seed starting coming up soon. I've got three bags of saved basil seed and one little bag of saved orange seed from last year. I need to see if these guys will sprout and uh, if some of my other seeds will sprout. Okay, this is my basil seed. <laughs> We're gonna focus, 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 focus. There we go. And I didn't get as much orange as I normally get. I should have had a couple more plants. I should have started them earlier. I've just been running my hands down like this, popping the seeds off. Done. Quite a bit of basil seed, although there's a lot of leaves in there too. And a little bit of orange. Diddly darn it, folks. It's snowing again. I'm checking to see if some of the seed will germinate. Most of this I'm not relying on for the garden except for this orich. Um, I just want to see, you know, some of this stuff that I saved myself from the garden if it'll germinate. Starting out with uh, ruby red orich. This is all the way from 2021. I think I already had problems with this germinating, so I wanted to check. This is my own saved orich from 2023. And then I also have the stuff that I just saved from the orich from 2024. And then I've got bok choy and spinach, both from 2023 that I saved from the garden, along with this basil seed that I saved from 2024. So I've got all of the orange here in this tub and then the bok choy, spinach, and basil in this tub. So yeah, this will be interesting to see how this turns out. And just to clarify, when I say 2023 seed, it was harvested in 2022 for the 2023 season, which is why it's possible to have basil seed. That's from harvested in 2023 for 2024 season, right? I've got these little fellows in their own bags, Orange 2024 and Basil 2024. Wouldn't it be groovy if I could use a lot more of my own seed? Yep, or doodle. This is my 2023 planting calendar. And I'm going to just uh, pretty much transfer the items over to a 2024 calendar, but it says I need to start my greenhouse transplants and direct seed March 6th, approximately. And um, so I'm gonna at least get the transplants going. It's been raining a lot, washing off all the snow. Uh, neighbors way over there are doing some earthwork. I've got some potting soil left over from last year. The last few years I've been using it to make soil blocks. Uh, I've got a couple of trays of soil blocks here that are left over from last year. And I think I'm just gonna use these for my early greenhouse transplants. Okay, folks. So the gardening season has started. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I could have gotten things started just a little bit earlier, but just Monday this week, the temperatures at night were 13 degrees Fahrenheit. I registered like 15 on the thermometer. Um, and so, so yeah, everything was frozen, frozen. And as soon as these things germinate, I need to get them out to the greenhouse on greenhouse tables, covering up with a little blanket, but it can't be that cold, right? So anyway, I still don't have a cold place to start my vegetable seedlings. So anyway, 
I'm going to put some seeds in these old soil blocks, cover them up with some perlite from 100 years ago, water them in, wait for them to germinate and get them out onto greenhouse tables, uh, unheated greenhouse. I would also like to get some orich and some spinach direct seeded into those beds right now because the temperatures are fine. Um, but I've been kind of feeling like head pressure, kind of tired. And so I've just been hobbling around just doing the bare minimum. I would have liked to have gotten snow shoveled onto those beds in the greenhouse because it's so good as it melts, just really getting the soil wet um, for planting seeds and stuff. But I was just too worn out. So I haven't been out to the greenhouses for months. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in there. Anyway, yes, the gardening season has started. Normally, I would start my early transplants in little tiny soil blocks because I don't really, you know, I just want to get them started and plug them in there as soon as possible. But since I have these big old guys, I'd like to use them to see, you know, I've tried this in the past using old soil blocks and they seem to work, but I hate to experiment on my main season crops. So like if, if this doesn't work out for my greenhouse, it's not the end of the world, but I'd like to give it another try because eventually it wouldn't be nice maybe to have all my soil blocks ready ahead of time and then I can just use them through the season. That's what I've thought about in the, in the past. So again, I'd like to do another little trial with that, see how these guys grow in these old soil blocks. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Here we go. I'm gonna use a couple of seeds per cell of this 2023 Bopak Bok Choy full tray, 72. And also Salanova lettuce, there's a mixture in here from 2022, and I'm just gonna probably put a couple of pellet seeds per cell, use these seeds up for the greenhouse too. I guess I will be relying on my own bok choy seed because this is all I have left from this pack. Uh, this is for the greenhouse. All I need to do is some more bok choy for the bed ends out in the garden later, so not the end of the world if I don't get the best germination rate out of my own seed. Ugly dogly, and I've got the Salanova lettuce in here. This should be a mix of red and green types of, I don't know what. <laughs> and so now I just gotta cover these little holes with some perlite. Ugly dogly, folklies. Bok choy and lettuce started. Orich. Nothing much going on with the 2021 Johnny seed. My 2023 seeds got a bunch of tails coming out. The 2024 seed of mine, few little tails coming out, but you know, I don't know the quality of the seed. Some of it was probably mildewed. Moving over to the spinach and the basil. Nothing going on yet, but check this out. Bok choy is a beast. Look at that. So pretty. The sun came out after the rain.